Ladies and gentlemen, today is May 27th, 2013, and this is the Can Kale live stream day. Oh man, I totally forgot what day it was. I think it's like 57. I think it's 57. The Emma Stream, I am your host, Ken Lafferty. Today we're going to be jumping right back into working on the comic. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. But before we get into that, I have a couple announcements to make. One of which being that the much requested, much anticipated Emma forum is now online. You can go check it out. Emma Comic Online. There is a news post about it there. Go on, register your account, and post some topics and reply and all that good stuff. Also, if you have not entered the Emma Art Contest, it is going for about another two weeks, and we'll be announcing the winners and sending off the amazing blue giraffes for those of you who are interested in getting these amazing holy grails of prizes. Yes, those are going to be going out, finding their homes and owners in two weeks. And whoa, what's up with like the, the holy light shining through here? What is that? You guys see that? That is so cool. <laughs> As soon as I bring up the giraffes, it's like, oh, the heavens shine down upon the giraffes. All right, guys, moving on to the lovely lane. We got some awesome, look, look at how awesome. Only Alicia could do something this amazing. And of course, we have Deebs over here being a little smart, but making fun of how I have him doing lines now. But yes, thank you for everyone who has been posting stuff to the Emma site. And before we move into the work on the comic, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who has been watching the show and reading the comic. That is all I will ever require of you. But for those of you who have stepped up and donated your time, money, or talent to the cause this month, your names can be found here. So thank you very much to all these beautiful people. If you'd like to get your name on the comic, simply visit the link below. If you're watching on YouTube, you can go and donate, and I will feature your name throughout the month. All right, guys, let's go ahead and move into the comic. Let us move into the comic, the holy comic. That is so weird that it's doing that. I, I seriously, like, my blinds are closed. I think there's just, like, one little tiny speck of light that's, like, coming through and, like, shooting on that thing. Fix it. Okay, there we go. All right. So as you can see here, today we're going to be drawing the Horde. The Horde and the Alliance uh, of bikers on their bikes, yeah. And Tank is giving some sort of signal. What is that? What is that, you may ask? That is the military signal for wedge formation. Why would he be giving that signal, you ask? Well, you're just going to have to wait until the release to find out. <laughs> actually, wait. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, wait. Actually, I might actually be doing that on stream. So you might find out in a couple days. But anyway, the important thing today is we are drawing zombies. And I have my references over here for the zombies we are going to be using. A few of them are amazing designs sent in by you, the lovely viewers out there. So thank you very much to everyone who has been submitting their ideas for zombie designs. They are going to be, some of them are going to be used here. So let's go ahead and start off with some frames, okay? This is good. You can basically start taking notes now if you want to know how I make comics, how I compose frames and all that stuff in my general uh, way of doing things. So I hope you guys had a good weekend. I had a, I had an amazing one myself. Happened upon some amazing things. I had some good, like uh, I had some good thoughts going on in my head. Some things we're gonna be talking about. Thoughtful Thursday. Good, good stuff. I was worrying like a couple weeks ago. I mean, just ever since I started Thoughtful Thursday, I was like, man, what's gonna happen when I run out of things to say? But I don't think that day will ever come because I am just getting really good at flapping my gums on and on and on and on talking about anything, anything. Plus I have ADD, so that really helps out. I can just go from one subject to the other. Into a story. Into an epic comic saga. And then back to, bring you right back to the original point, which might be an hour later and you might have forgotten what I was talking about. But the important thing is, is that we do it. Okay, frame 02, for those of you paying attention, hopefully, pay attention here, I just make my box that I want to have there, then I stroke that path with a 10 pixel wide thingy there, and then for these bleed shots, I just simply kind of grab it, bring out those edges a little bit, and then I create a mask over top of it by hitting this little button right here. 
and make sure you can actually see that. This little button right here creates a mask. That is your best friend when you're creating more, what's the word, advanced panels. And let's go ahead and just uh, fill these areas with black. When you fill an area with black on a mask, it makes it disappear. How about that? Go ahead and do that. Looks good. And now you have some clean masks ready for art. Ready for art. Alright, so I'm actually going to jump straight into the zombie panel because I figure that's probably going to be the most fun for you guys to watch at home. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to go ahead and get into that. I, I like the things you guys are saying over here. The birds are so happy outside. The window is open and you guys can hear the birds. It is a beautiful day. It's a beautiful new week and it's Memorial Day. I think it's just a, an air of just happiness of all the people that didn't have to go to work today and the remembrance of all those who died for us so we could sit at home and make comics. I am eternally grateful to them. Who died for the freedom of the United States and all that good stuff, right? All right. Uh, what am I doing here? What's going on in a history thing? I don't know crap about history. What am I talking about? All right, layout time. L lay put. All right, that sounds good. Sounds good. All right, so what zombies are we going to be using here? What zombies? I know Kel's going to be over here, for those of you who remember Kel. Uh, he's going to be on the left there. But there were some zombies that I did pull up from the Facebook that I liked. One of them being this one. I really like this one. This guy's definitely going to be going in there. And uh, I really like this one, too. So I think I'll be using both of these. I think this girl is probably going to go right there. And then maybe I'll put that other guy right here. That looks good. All right, so let's start with the girl, because we haven't drawn any girl zombies yet. I mean, that you've seen. We haven't drawn any beautiful, lovely, decomposed girl zombies, and we need to change that immediately. We need to change that immediately. Oh, and I need to make sure that I'm saving this, so hang on one second. I need to save this as page 21, otherwise I might mess everything up. That would be a shame to save over page 20. We've already done all that work. Okay, just saving that really quick. I got you pulled off of the desktop cam because I don't want you seeing the other file names. <laughs> I don't want to be uh, getting getting the secrets, spilling the beans too early. <laughs> I don't want to be, yeah, I don't want to be doing that. None of that. All right, so let's go ahead and open up page 21 again. And let's get back to that. All right, let the drawing commence. <laughs> let's finally get to some drawing. All right, so let's draw our sexy lady right over here. I'm going to go ahead and go into wide mode so we can draw some cool zombies. And you guys can watch kind of the, the style or the uh, process that I've been going through lately because uh, one thing that I've noticed I've been doing a lot lately, and it's actually been working to my disadvantage, is I've been trying to copy this sketch too much and like try to just refine the sketch when really this is supposed to be just a general outline and that I should be kind of creating the new body language and kind of sketching in all the shapes first and then I'll go in and refine it. You know what I mean? Letting this just be a general guideline. But I definitely like like some of the things that are happening here. In fact, sometimes the lines going through it can create good um, good starting points, but again, don't let it don't let it determine exactly what your your lines are going to be or your layout is going to be, because it's just like at that point, I feel like I'm working too hard. I don't know if that I hope that makes sense what I'm saying here. Like I'm trying to like just like like imagine I drew this guy here. It's like okay, well I drew this line here, so I'm just going to copy this and refine it. Oh, but that doesn't look right. I gotta like go back in and you know it's like I'm trying too hard to like match what the original sketch was. And in some ways that's good. But it's almost like you're trying to match the feel of the original sketch, not so much the lines of the original sketch. You're almost like doing another sketch, like another refined thing happening over here. 
and I really, really like this zombie a lot, especially because it has uh, the nose holes. I don't think enough of our zombies have nose holes, which is a surprising lack of nose hole zombies. So I'm very, very happy that uh, this lovely person took it upon themselves to design this zombie with nose holes. Also, no jaw. I like that. No jaw on this zombie. Always a good, always a good idea. So let's have that nice tongue hanging out there. Mm, that's sexy. Let's go ahead and throw those in. Usually, what I like to do to like design the zombie mouth is I'll actually kind of like paint it in like completely dark, and then I'll just erase away the teeth like that. I really like that. That's a, that's really really fun. I really, really like what's happening here. <laughs> I like these eyebrows. I like capturing uh, a lot of emotion in my zombies. That's one thing I've noticed is that my zombies tend to have a little bit more emotion than the run-of-the-mill uh, other zombies. Yeah, this is cool. <laughs> I like the little pigtails. These are so sweet. Like, seriously, this hairstyle is really where it's at. I love it. Love it! It's supposed to be a zombie version of this character down here. So I really like that. Love it! <laughs> Love it. I have the coolest fans. They help me design awesome zombies. <laughs> My fans design zombies for me. It's so sweet. <laughs> oh, man. It's not many places. Not many other places you could do that. You could actually decide the fate of the look of the comic. Alright, that's looking really good. Although I should probably put a disclaimer on my Facebook thing. It's like, hey look, if I use your design, I own it. And anything you, you submit to my Facebook is technically my property. Because I'd hate to be like, like use it, and then like some guy, like, it's like, oh, well, that was technically my design, so, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to ask that she remove it. Now it really suck. Not that I think anybody would do that, but you never can tell these days. You gotta watch out. All right. So that's looking good. That's looking really good. Oh, and they got a hoodie too. Stylish zombies. Stylish zombies going on up in here. Oh, and it's a vest hoodie. <laughs> I like just like the slumping posture. We're just like. Uh, <laughs> uh, love it! Love it! Okay. And let's go ahead and we'll draw this arm kind of like hanging down like that. Uh, that tongue looks great. Let's have this hoodie kind of like ripped apart and kind of like hanging down. Kind of nasty, decrepit looking. And yeah, so that's definitely a good thing. Good job. I need to put the name of the person who uh, who drew this. By the way, uh, for those of you who are curious, anybody whose design I am going to use, I won't say, oh yeah, I just designed that zombie. Your name will be going in the book in uh, special thanks, for sure. And if you continue to draw zombies for me, I might just put you in as concept artist for Emma, the online comic. So if you'd like to be a concept artist, get on those zombie designs. Get on those uh, uh, blood spatter designs. Get on those uh, motorcycle designs. And uh, basically anything else that you'd like to see in the comic. Specifically, uh, I would ask that you submit them to the new forum site. The new forum, there is a place for ideas for the comic. You totally submit your zombie ideas there, as well as, you know, settings or ideas where I can't promise that I'll use them all or that I'll use most of them, but every once in a while, I might come across a diamond in the rough. So, yes, just don't want to get your hopes up and be like, but I put like 10 hours into this. Don't. 
Don't spend weeks on an idea and then submit it to me and expect me to use it. Even though I will love you. I will love you for submitting it. But there's no guarantee that I'll use it. Alright, so let's go ahead and put in these... Uh, those legs look a little high. I think they do. Maybe I'll just leave it like that. Little pants line. Have the shredded pants, of course, because zombies should never have nice pants. And this is a stylish zombie, so maybe she bought them kind of torn up like that from uh, Buckle, where I used to work. All right, so that looks great. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Let's go ahead and check back and forth. Cool! So that's definitely a winner. Moving on to the next one. Uh, let's go ahead and get this guy in there. This lovely piece of work done here. Let's get this guy right over here. Alright, so the reason why I like this guy is he's got kind of like the, the little Chelsea grin thing going on up here. Where it's kind of like the cut in his face, but it looks like a smile. And he's got no upper teeth, which is pretty sweet. If you ask me, I haven't drawn a lot of zombies with no upper teeth. Again, we're representing all of the minorities here. We've got no upper teeth zombies. We've got stylish, sexy girl zombies. And uh, we're also going to have another one, I think, here in a second. Oh, and he's got like this rhino thing going on. Look at that. I like this hair. It has like a rhino horn. <laughs> John's asking, how does one draw zombie boobies? Uh, oh yeah, I guess I didn't draw any boobs on this girl. Yeah, let's get back in there. Let's get back in there. Um, even though they should be kind of like decomposed and kind of nasty looking, I still like making uh, the boobs on the zombies still look uh, moderately attractive. But because it's underneath the sweater, we don't need to draw anything like crazy. Anything like super crazy. But yeah, I didn't even think about drawing boobs on it. That doesn't look right. Yeah, I guess it would look more like that. Do I like that? Yeah, I do! I like it a lot! I like it a lot. I tend to like a little bit more, like, athletic, chested girls. Which is, I don't know, kind of might be a little too much information, but... <laughs> um, but it wasn't always that way, rest assured. In my uh, 14, 15, 16 years, I was drawing nothing but big booby anime girls. As you guys who tuned in last Thursday and saw the crash on the stream, uh, we were going through my old portfolio, aka the portfolio of shame, and there's nothing but big boob girls in there. Big boob girls, anime girls, all that stuff. There's plenty to be found. So, uh, yeah. But since then, I don't know. It just kind of just doesn't do it for me anymore. Something, something changed. Something changed. I don't know what it was. But anyway, that's another conversation for another time. That's another conversation for another time. All right. So let's move into the zombie eyes. Good, good call on that one, John. Good call. Call me on my stuff. Dude, this zombie is so cool. It kind of reminds me of like a zombie cookie monster, to be honest. Like with the furry kind of no upper mouth thing. Super cool. I I really think that these zombie designs that you guys submitted to me are even better than my own. So uh, I just wanted to say thank you very much. You're helping me to realize the style of my zombies before I even re like really get into it. I haven't even done a lot of concept art for this stuff. I haven't done a lot of concept art for the zombies yet. Yeah, dude, this guy, this guy is so cool. Look at that. Look at that face. Can't say no to that face. <laughs> Easy, they probably fell off. This is what somebody else says to drawing zombie movies. Yeah, exactly. You can just say they, they fell off. <laughs> Alright. Yes, John, you have full credit for those those boobs. 
Somebody else drew the design for the zombie, but you take credit for the boobs. Okay? That's all you. Okay, that's enough booby talk. This guy is so cool. People riding their ATVs around or something? What is this? Only in Utah. I actually do like it. Utah is way more like outdoorsy and, and fun. Okay, so his head is looking a little bit big, though. Or, actually, no, I'm okay with that. I actually want a, a good depth of zombies happening here. So we actually could have him a little bit closer. Again, let's cross our bridges when we come to them, and until then, let's just continue. <laughs> Seriously? You have, do, you have to do that right on my street? It's even worse than the dogs. Although the anti noise mic probably cuts it out and makes it sound like a fart or something. But <laughs> yes, there. It sounds like somebody's outside riding on their go-pet right now. Okay, I actually want this guy to be hunched over a little bit more. So he's kind of like hunched over like this, and he's looking back and he's like, <sighs> like that. That might have been a little creepy, but that is okay. We do what we must. We do what we must for. Quality. Alright, so what's this guy got on? He's got like a sweater vest. I don't know, the concept art ends at his head, so we're gonna have to figure out what this guy's wearing. I'm gonna have to figure out how he's kind of like hunched over as well. I think I kind of want him to be a little bit more like, a little bit more of his shoulder in front of him. Yeah, like this. So then his back is coming back like this. And he's doing like one of these things. His hand is like out. Like that. I'll probably just have this sweater vest thing just completely ripped and tattered like that. I'll look like that. It's pretty good. I want to adjust this a little bit more because his head is large, so we need to make his body a little bit bigger. I want a little bit more like that. It's all about that body language. Make those subtle changes that will say all the more about your characters. And let's flip it, see how we're feeling. Ooh, yeah, I like that. That looks awesome. Probably sounds funny. It's like, oh yeah, this looks awesome. Yeah. It's like totally like pumping up my own work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so awesome. Freaking awesome. But really, I'm just loving this design. Look, you can totally compare the two. Look at that. Genius! The geniusness of somebody else. Now in my comic. Now in my comic. Makes me very happy. I gotta figure out this hand. How are we going to do this hand? I want one pinky out, right, because he's fancy. And I'll probably do something like that. This is shaping up to be my favorite panel in the comic thus far. Look 
because of how much sheer awesomeness there is in these zombies. Like every single one of these zombies is like another character to me. I freaking love him. I almost want to give him like a striped sweater. That would look good. Okay, this guy's coming back. Okay, he's gone. Yeah, this looks cool. Let's see. Oh, I also like how like his uh, jaw is kind of like fading back into his uh, shoulder there. So it almost looks like his jaw just like recedes all the way back there. It just looks really cool. Cool stuff is happening. Cool stuff. And I'm going to go ahead and shade in this girl's uh, sweater vest thingy, too. I don't want to forget how cool she is. Oh, yeah, and I forgot her eyes. Why did I forget her eyes? How dare I forget her eyes? How do I want her to be looking? I almost want her to be like looking away. <laughs> I like that. And then she's kind of leading her eyes off of the page. Even zombie eyes can lead you. So I'll have her looking this way. Yeah, I like that. That kind of pulls me back in. Maybe how we're looking down? Let's try that. Ooh, I like that. Yep, I think I'm gonna stick with that. And let's make this guy even closer. And go pet guy, come back again. Oh. It's actually a motorcycle. It's, an, it's a dirt bike. Well, ain't that just fancy? Okay, so we got this guy close to us. Looks really good. And... Wait, why am I not painting anything? What's going on? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Grandpa zombies, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Captain Big Bud is saying there's a surprising lack of grandpa and grandma zombies. And that is very true. It's very, very true. They're an unrepresented minority. All right, so who's up next? Who's up next? There was another design that I liked back here. This one was definitely done by Pepe. Pepe Jorgens. I just because I know his style. I freaking love this one. It's kind of creepy, but uh I like it a lot. So I think I'm gonna do this just because I like the little cat hat thing going on. I think I'm gonna do me one do me one of those. But where should she go? I kinda want her to be a little bit more in the background. Not that I don't like Pepe's design any less, but I think it'd be much more complimentary. Much more complimentary to look back and see a zombie with a cat hat on. Hmm. Noish is saying, did I know that I'm on the Crimson Daggers live stream app? No? <laughs> uh, my buddy Aaron Pinal has been talking to me about uh, applying to get on it, but uh, I actually didn't get a chance to do it yet, but it looks like somebody just went ahead and did it for me. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty sweet. <laughs> so whoever did that, thank you. Thank you very much. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, continue. Let's continue. Things are getting good. Things are getting good. All right, cat hat time. 
All right, for this cat hat, I actually want to kind of like point her head down so she's kind of like, uh, like that, looking at you. And we get more cat hat percentage, right? It's all, it's all about that cat hat percentage. All right, so we're going to do like a circular head here. Actually, I want to kind of knock her back a little bit further. And this is something that I really like to do. Like when I start doing a lot of characters in one page, I A, like to back up that page just in case my computer crashes and I lose everything. That's the first thing I like to do. And then the second thing I like to do is actually work with multiple layers because that allows me to really kind of like just focus on drawing the character and not so much of, oh, well, it needs to be this small and it needs to look exactly like this. It needs to be in this position. And then it just allows me to, here, I'll just show you. And then just flapping my guns, I'll actually show you. Okay, so we got this character here, right? We know we want cat hat, cat hat girl in here. So, okay, so we got cat hat. And basically all we're doing here is we're just focusing on drawing the character, right? We can worry about all the positioning of everything and all that stuff later. But I love how like this side of her face is like eaten off. It's freaking sweet. Probably gonna give her like one of these things. Kind of like more sleepy eyes, kind of looking up at you. Ooh, I like that. And the classic Pepe -pe teeth. That looks good. Pepe -pe Jorgen's zombie teeth. <laughs> they each kind of have slightly different teeth. I don't know. I might have to change that. Or maybe I won't. Maybe I won't. Depends on my mood. It is very, very noisy here. Why is it so noisy in Utah? Why? And here come the dogs. Although I think that... I'm going to watch this later and find out if all of this background noise is actually getting filtered out by the mic. That would be pretty sweet if it was. Or if you guys can hear that dog. <laughs> it's got the funniest howl. We're gonna love it. Because it's like voice goes hoarse. <laughs> and then it's howl just like changes. <laughs> it's like this deep howl. It's like... <laughs> and then it just like completely switches into this like high-pitched, whiny, annoying howl. Halfway through because his voice goes hoarse. And that is pretty sweet, although annoying. But that's okay. Because here on the Kane Kale stream, you get everything. You get everything. You get to step into my life and see what my workspace is like. Really, it is inspiring. I like the, the natural dog howling, the natural motorcycle riding dudes outside on their dirt bikes. And all that good stuff. Okay, so let's see here. So, okay, so I'm liking this girl a lot. She looks really cool. I want to keep her eyes up like that. She looks more ticked. Now, what do I want to do with her body? Did I have anything drawn back here for the body? Not really. So it looks like I'm going to be making this one up. I think what I'm going to do is kind of like stick her shoulder in front of her. She's kind of like... Ugh, like that, kind of like walking towards you. I like me some of that. And it's kind of sexy, so. She's got like this low kind of cut shirt, but then she's got the nice, modest tank top underneath. It's good. It's good. Maybe we could like put some rips in there. No. Just kidding. I won't do that to your design, Pepe. You do her modestly, so we won't make her sexy right here. But dude, she's actually really cool. I like this. We should name all of these zombies. And they should have uh, appearances later on. Seriously, these zombies are so cool. Oh, she's got stripes too. Okay, but she's going to be partially covered by this dude, so I don't want to put too much detail into her because a lot of her 
body is probably going to be covered up. But we'll just put like a general, um, we'll put a general line through it just so we know what to expect. Through here, actually, I like that line the way it was before. Let's keep it like that. So her body is probably going to be more like, kind of reaching down, like, like that. Draw our little zombie tummy. Oh, ain't that precious. Sounds like a wolf outside. <laughs> All right. Wow, that's so cool that I'm on Crimson Daggers. Crimson Daggers. Oh, I gotta act like it's not a big deal that way. Yeah. Of course I'm on Crimson Daggers. Yeah. Totally. I knew it was gonna happen. I knew it was gonna happen. <laughs> Gotta try not to fanboy out right now. Let's flip it. Let's check the sexiness of our zombies. Looking very sexy. Very, very sexy. Oh, also, uh, we forgot about the plentiful blood that is going down her neck. Can't forget that. Dude, these zombies are cooler than the freaking zombies that are appearing later in the thing. Dang it! <laughs> There's some more zombies that appear later that like I designed and they look kind of gay compared to these like <laughs> they're pretty lame. I'm probably gonna have to go back in and maybe do a little bit of redesigning on them to make them as cool as these ones. <laughs> Dang it guys, why you guys gotta do it? why you gotta go and do a good job like that? Why you make my job harder? Okay. Clown, ninja zombies, Santa zombies. Yes. These are all good ideas, Captain Big Butt. I like the way you think, good sir. All right, peoples. We're going to be winding down here pretty soon. We've got about 15 minutes left. So in the meantime, I would like to invite you to line your question catapults up and cast them over the castle walls into the kingdom of Cane Kale, where I will capture them and send them back to you on a bed of floaty grass, aka question catapult time. So ask me anything you'd like to over in the chat to your right, and I will answer them, and we will wind down day 57 of the Cane Kale live stream. While we do that, I'm actually going to pull up Epic outro music. Alright. Just download the new iTunes, and I gotta say, I hate it. I hate it. Alright. Hate is a strong word, though. I don't know if we should. We shouldn't go there. That's just pretty. That's kind of mean. Alright, I think it's time to get some Kel in here! For those of you who don't know who Kel is, he is my own zombie that I designed. And, uh, yeah. He's gonna be going over to the side here. So let's go ahead and get him in there. Let's get Kel in there. All nice and good like. I got this long-headed zombie all set up for him. He should fit perfectly right there. And then uh, I'll work with the rest of these later. But yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's do this. In fact, I'm going to hide the, the guides. Am I seriously getting the hiccups right now? That is not good. I'm going to have to step away and get a drink of water. Or I'll just hold my breath. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Kel, it is your time to shine. Okay, new layer. Oh, I talked about freaking doing this girl on a different layer, and that whole time I didn't, I wasn't drawing on a different layer. Uh, okay, come here. This girl will be named Chelsea until uh, Pepe comes in and says, no, that girl should actually be named Matilda. Till then, she is Chelsea. All right. Let's go ahead and draw some Kel. I really like Kel because he's really happy. He's a happy zombie. He always has a look of happiness on his face. I'm probably going to exaggerate his face a little bit more here. So 
I like his original design, but I think we could do more. We could do a bit more. But let me stress, any questions? Any questions are fine. Any questions? Anything? You can ask me what my favorite type of ice cream to get from the ice cream man is, and that would be uh, the Sonic, the Sonic bar. And I, I've asked this question before, but like, where the heck do ice cream men get those Sonic ice cream bars and like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle ones and all that stuff? Because you don't see that stuff when you go into the Walmart or anything. So it's like, is there like a secret ice cream man website where they order that stuff? Or is it really just the same stuff that was made in the 80s and they just like kept it in their freezer for years and years and years and it never goes bad? Because I would argue the latter. Ah, it looks like Kel has like little eyelashes when I do this. <laughs> They're drawn on the original thing, but I never thought of them as eyelashes. They kind of look like it. Maybe Kel is the under uh, rep misrepresented or underrepresented tranny zombie. <laughs> we don't have enough of those, so let's get let's get plenty of those, or <laughs> just a couple, just at least enough for representation. <laughs> All right, let's get those big teeth in here, too. Kel, get your big teeth in here. Lovely. Kel, you're looking just fine. I really want to know where they get that, that ice cream from, though. I, I gotta know! You know, there's just some things in life you gotta know. I gotta know that before I die. I will find an ice cream man and I will ask him, where did you get this? Where did you get this Sonic Pop Bar? Because I want to stock my freezer with them. Tell me the website! Tell me! But until then, I'm just gonna keep drawing zombies. Alright, but check it out, guys. See what I'm talking about? Like, I actually want a little bit more of like a distinction because these guys kind of have similar head shapes. So I'm going to make Kel, I'm going to end up making Kel a little bit shorter and a little bit further back because I want this guy to be kind of like dominant, you know, like the dominant zombie. So I'll probably end up kind of pushing Kel back. And because he's on his own layer, it makes it so easy to go back and edit type or things like that. Might end up like redrawing Kel too because like his face is almost like in the same exact position. Yeah, it kind of is. So I think I might actually change that right now. Because I want... I mean, look at how much like uh, variety there is in the like the shapes and like how the heads are positioned with these girls over here. And I want to have that same thing with these two zombies over here. So I'm probably going to kind of push Kel's face a little bit more towards a profile, which actually will probably be pretty easy. Because I'll probably just do one of these things and probably just have his head turned like this. You know, see what I just did there? <laughs> I just kind of cheated. There we go. Brilliant. Let's get those eyelashes in there. Kel, show us your sexy eyelashes. <laughs> he literally looks like eyelashes now. That's so funny. There we go. Now there's a little bit more uh, differences between the two faces. Feeling much better about that. And let's have Kel kind of stand in there, kind of mess around with all the shapes and legs that are going to be down here. In fact, it's not so important because it's probably going to be like a gradient kind of upwards. There's going to be so many zombie legs back in this area that there's probably just going to be like a couple shapes of light coming through. And I'll probably just play around with those shapes later. But for now, I'm just worrying about the tops of the heads. <sighs> Noish is asking, is Kel like one of those people that somehow ends up in every picture when he isn't even invited? <laughs> yes! Yes. Kel will be that zombie. He will be the photobombing zombie. You think you've killed him, but he just keeps coming back. Keeps coming back into the panels. 
Nobody knows exactly how to get rid of them. Uh, and Kel actually has ears. How about that? Kel was lucky enough to retain his ears. Good for him. Good for you. Good for you. Yikes. Okay, so that's good. And I'm actually going to end up shrinking him down even more. I don't know. There's something about this zombie phase that I like more. I think I might end up putting Kel somewhere else. Another nice thing about having separate layers is you can move these guys around wherever you want them. I don't want to put him there because he's way too off to the side. Here, here, here. I'll stick him somewhere. But I don't like him there, unfortunately. Kel, sorry, you just didn't fit the part. You didn't fit the part, and you made my Photoshop lag. Alright, so Kel is going to be going somewhere else because I like this face. I like the feeling of that face. You guys get that? It's not so much the drawing, it's the feeling of what that zombie is representing. And I like kind of how there's like this bowl shape that's happening with the zombies. Maybe I'll put him back here. I don't know. i gotta, I got to figure that thing out. Anyway, I'll just put Kel in the background for now and I'll draw one more zombie. But anyway, like I was saying... Um, are you guys noticing this cool like bowl effect that's happening, right? It's kind of like doing this type of thing. It makes you feel like you're really like enclosed by the zombies. So I really want to kind of mimic that. And by putting Kel lower, it kind of like does, you know, it doesn't like complete that surrounded feeling. And I want people to feel very surrounded and kind of scared by these zombies. So let's go ahead and give this zombie another go. He might be concepting a whole new one. So let's get into that, shall we? We also have Depressed Zombie, uh, wh whatever this guy's name was. I like this guy. He's fun. And uh, this guy is good old Sonic Head Zombie. But I think I'm actually going to try and just wing this one. Figure it out. <laughs> Kel should have an interesting backstory on his life before becoming a zombie. Yeah, I, I would like to do that. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, you know how we're doing like those, uh, we're doing side comics for those of you who purchased the digital edition of issue one. The digital edition of issue two is going to be coming out after the release of this. And maybe the side comic could feature one of the zombies, right? And it could be called by the name Kel. Interesting. Giving me ideas. Giving me ideas. All right, so I just really like this mouth shape. I think I just really want to have like a zombie with like a <gasps> kind of thing going on. Creepy zombie. Uh... Well, you know. <laughs> you know what kind of face that is. Give him these nice uh, big teeth going on here. Because we got to have some goofy zombies too, right? Goofy zombies. Good. I actually like this kind of stepping haircut thing that he's got going on here. It looks pretty good. It looks like we got about five minutes left, guys, and then we are going to end. So get your last comments out now, because after this, we're gone forever. Well, till tomorrow. Yeah, I like this guy. Hey! Yeah, that looks really good. <laughs> I love the silly zombies. Kind of like Patrick Zombie. For those of you who uh, were here when we were working on the cover of issue one, 
I introduced a silly looking zombie that looked like Patrick. He just had like one tooth. Uh, but I kind of covered him up with the layout of the final issue. But he's there. He's there still. He's just kind of like a hidden little secret back there. Oh, I gotta put this guy on his own layer. Own layer! I'm gonna make his head a little bit smaller. Or bigger. No, small. I think I just need to make this guy bigger. This main guy up front. I really want this guy up close and personal. Whoops. Yeah, I really want that guy close. To be honest, he's probably one of my favorite zombie designs that I've seen so far. So I want him front and center. Yeah, that's what we want there. Now we're drawing a lot more attention to him. Looks good. And I'll just do one of these things. Uh, I'll figure out the rest of this guy later. Alright guys, we are going to go ahead and wind down, and we are going to end day 57. I totally... Ugh. I really need to start paying attention to the numbers. Anyway, doesn't matter. We're going to be ending the live stream, so I wanted to thank you very much, everyone who has joined me on Ustream, as usual. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't. If you're on YouTube, my name is Ken Lafferty. I'll see you guys tomorrow for Tutorial Tuesday. We're going to be going into another awesome tutorial. Super excited for that. And we're going to be having some fun. So you guys take care. Have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Till then, you guys take care.